Are you experiencing anxiety because you don't feel that, for example, maths are your cup of tea and then you need extra help with that? Then you need to let us know so we can help you. Okay? Good? Fine. You can see a lot of things here, but again, some of these areas, they go hand in hand. Okay? Good. What else can we see here? Working towards the career goals, that's actually a quite interesting topic in the sense that I think many of you at some point when you, um, when you begin getting a little bit like the stress and you think that is way too difficult, you just begin forgetting about your goals. And that's why preparing in general, not just for classes but for exams and to be on top of your time on, uh, at, all, at all times, is going to be helping you, because you have a dream, isn't it? I mean, you're just beginning here a bachelor's, but many of you might actually want to continue with a master's program, or even become professors, or just going into industry and become rich. That's the dream of everybody, okay? To make a lot of money, probably. Okay? But then you just have to keep that in mind all the time. How am I going to be attaining that? And when you have a bad day, you have to remember that too. Okay? When you fail an assignment, Normally, you actually learn more when you fail than when you pass, okay? So when you fail an assignment, it's also an opportunity for you to learn out of that and to keep in mind all the time your goals. Good. Does it review the academic goals and reviewing your career goals? So you're feeling down because you are not actually obtaining the goals, the, the results that you want. Book a time with us. Let's look at what is going on here. Is it, is it something academic? Or maybe there is something else that is affecting you. Good. We're gonna be also organizing some workshops for you regarding academic writing and referencing. We have, for example, Sophie here is also part of the uh, academic workshop team, which means that we have a whole team arranging academic workshops for you to make sure that you get the foundation in order to pass all your assignments. Okay. Good. And then I think we've been covering this before, scheduling and planning, but one important thing there is actually delegation and micromanagement. And we have students getting very, very stressed here because when they have a group assignment, they don't trust the rest of the students. They think, I just like to write my own assignments. When I have a group assignment, I cannot control everything. That's actually a very important skill to develop, to know how to delegate not to micromanage everything, to be responsible within a group, okay? But at the same time, to ask people to take responsibility. So we are gonna be organizing workshops around these areas, just to give you some tips about how to perform better also uh, during group assignments. Good. Stress. It's quite normal to get stressed nowadays, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes stress, sometimes it's just that you're busy. And, and, and it's quite important that you differentiate things because some students, they get to me and say, I'm very stressed. It's like, no, you're very busy. Stress is actually something very serious, okay? When you're very stressed, you begin maybe to feel dizzy, stomach ache. I mean, it's normally something that is getting into your body. Eh? You begin not, for example, sleeping, sleeping properly. Busy is good. Stress is bad just to put it that way, okay? So just have to keep a good balance, okay? And how are you gonna be keeping just busy and not stressed? Organizing your time. Hmm? Fine. Any questions so far? Hmm? So you can help me with the time over there. If I'm like getting... Yeah. So what I wrote here, hmm, just to finalize this small presentation, is that it's quite important that you ask for help. And no matter what, if you're not sure who can be helping you, ask faculty, ask any person you know in the administration, say, okay, I'm not sure who is the person that I have to contact, and then they will actually send you in the right direction. Okay. Good. And very important, if things do not go according to your plan, or if you need guidance, it is up to you to ask for help. I cannot see how many of you need help, unless you tell me. Maybe you don't need any help, okay? But for level four students, especially for entry students, not contacting counselors at all, I think that's very strange, that you don't have any problems. Absolutely a single one. Hmm? 
because then we can see the results. And it's like, maybe if we would have talked a little bit earlier, we could have told you at the end of this, but now it's too late, because the exam already took place. So we are here to help you. And um, we have a, a site that I'm gonna be presenting for you shortly, where you can find a lot of information about how to get better at different academic areas, you know? Here we have uh, the different people within this particular unit. You have Sophie's mail there, Eva's mail, and my mail. But all this information is available for you. Uh, I've been giving you all of you access to yeah. the counseling site. Good. Any questions? <coughs> Nothing. <Yeah>. Fine. <coughs> so I'm going to be showing to you the site that I mentioned, which is this one here. This is, by the way, the learning management system that you're going to be using on campus, okay? So I'm going to be introducing this for you at a later stage. So this is one of the sites that you have access to, and here is where we gather all the information that you need in order to be updated, basically. Okay? So what I've been doing before is presenting the areas that we can help you with, isn't it? And that presentation, you can find it here. Okay, so it's available there for everybody. Some students say to me, oh, it's so difficult to get a time with you. And I say, well, yes, from Monday to Tuesday, it's actually quite difficult to get a time, but if we actually try to get a time next week, I might be having the time. But they say to me, it's really, really urgent. So I thought actually that we use Teams, Microsoft Teams. You know that, isn't it? Most of you? Yeah, how many of you know Microsoft Teams? I see some very shy hands in the like this. So yeah, I can see in any case some of you, okay? We are gonna get an introduction to Microsoft Teams. All of you have access to the package. It's for free, it's through the Microsoft 365. So this is gonna be part of the practical information. But once we get downloaded that, then you can write to me. And then we use the chat for that, 